Hi, it's Paul Browning from HowToNetwork.net. It's Friday the 8th of January 2010. Welcome to the 116th tip of the week. A uh, fairly short tip today because, as you'll see in a moment, I've spent almost the entire day uploading a free VLANs lecture onto YouTube and onto the site as well. I'll show you in a minute how you can download uh, almost an hour's worth of free CCNA VLANs lecture. The only thing is I would ask you to give me some feedback. You can rate the video on YouTube. If you're a member of the site, I'll give you a link where you can watch the video on the site. If you're not a member, you can still download the VLANs video. and I'll, I'll flash up a link. In fact, I'll flash up a link. Now, while you're watching, you can come to the site uh, and download the video. You can watch it on the site if you don't want, don't want to download it. Um, but if you do, I'll just ask you to um, give me your name and email so I can email you the link. And I'll also send you out free videos and other goodies as and when I create them. So big news for me, I didn't mention yesterday because I just didn't have time. But um, I'm going to be a father again. It's a bit of a big surprise or you could call it a shock. I found out we're having twins. So you should be able to see the picture there. There's one little baby. The other one was moving around just when we had the photograph taken of the scan. So that's no doubt going to keep me very busy. They're due probably early June this year. So uh, I'm going to do lots of work and hopefully get a lot of stuff on the site before they come, because then I'll be busy, no doubt, looking after them and changing nappies. Uh, we are developing at the moment the CCMP switching, so that should be on the site probably within the next month. So I've mentioned the VLANs video lecture uh, on YouTube. You can come to my account on YouTube. And the link is youtube.com forward slash Paul W. Browning. But you can see my name here. And um, you'll see all my videos on there. I've got about 90, 80, 80, 90 at the moment. So um, I've just uploaded five, six VLAN videos today. And each one's about nine minutes. It's a, it's a good video in my opinion because I talk about the theory and then I actually apply it to routers and well to switches and PCs on a VLAN so you can actually see how they're created. All right uh, the live rack is moving for those of you that uh, use the live rack I haven't got a date yet but as soon as I do have the live rack date I'll give it to you it's going to be in a weekend sometime soon and uh, there's a picture of the live rack just coming up here my bandwidth is quite slow because I'm uploading the last few videos to YouTube so that will be moving and we'll be adding on the CCNA voice the C voice uh, rack as well so when it comes back up again so please bear with us question of the day uh, a lot of you are asking um, what level of iOS you need to study for your CCNA on your home rack as a minimum we say 12.3 basically any, any iOS is is okay from 12.0 onwards mainly because it's got the IP subnet zero command on but you could you could put that on yourself anyway the other thing is if you come to Featured Articles and click on More, you may have to drill back to more headlines, but I've actually, um, I'll tell you how to put your own Cisco CCNA rack together. It's called Building a Home Lab. And you can click on that. You can print it as well as a printer friendly button there that tells you all the things you need to buy, the cables, where to plug them, and it links to a video on YouTube as well. Again, if you ever do watch one of my videos on YouTube, please give it a rating. Um, it's just good, good feedback from me. All right, so that's all I've got to say uh, for today. I've got some other bits and bobs, but I'll, I'll tell you on Monday. So the main thing is, uh, at the end of this video, please watch my VLANs video. I'll flash up the link again to remind you. If you're watching this on Friday, have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday.